Ladies and gents, TFI back with an informational video, which is uh, it's one of those ones that I'm just going to stick in the bank, put it on the channel, and then people can find it in the future as and when they need to, to come across something like this. So, you've got Inventor, it's been working fine for quite a while, and then all of a sudden, randomly, as things tend to do, they just break. Right? I'm not going to break my Inventor because I'm not that stupid, but just pretend something's broke. That could be one of many things. Your ribbon bars could be broken export functions could have glitched out, add-ons could be broke, who knows, it could be one of many things. You might have even messed about with the inventor application options. You might have changed a load of stuff in here and then you figured, I, I want to set this back to default because something's behaving a bit strange. Maybe it's something I've done in here. I just want to set inventor back to factory settings. How do we do this, right? Well, there's a, there's a nice little utility that Autodesk have developed which sets inventor back to factory settings. So what we're going to do is just shut inventor down and then we're going to open up the Google and we're going to Google Inventor Reset Utility. And the first link that comes up is going to be an Autodesk article, How to Use the Inventor Reset Utility. So this is a little utility developed by Autodesk to counteract many common problems that happen in Inventor. Things like unable to export AutoCAD drones, add-ins being broke, dialog boxes not appearing properly, that kind of thing. If you've got anything in your Inventor that's customized, if you've made your own custom ribbon bar buttons, you've got custom add-ins, you've got anything that you've made and plugged into Inventor which is over and above what you get out of the box, anything that you'd lose if you were to uninstall it and reinstall it, then follow this guide which will help you to, to the best of its ability back up anything that you've made yourself. Uh, and the whole point of this utility is just one of those things to try before you do a full reinstall. Because the full reinstall can take a bloody lifetime, especially if you've deleted the download files and you've got to download 40 gig of product design collection again. So it's one of those things to try before you hit the last resort. Uh, well, actually, last resort is completely wiping your PC, which is <laughs> it's not unknown for us to do that. But you want to download this link here. That'll download a very small file, a very small zip file. Drag that to your desktop, extract it out and then open up the folder and you'll get a little small exe file. Double click him, and then you'll get this little Inventor Reset Utility pop up here. It'll detect the versions of Inventor that you have. If you've got more than one, it'll show them here. So you can pick the one that you want to reset and then hit the go button. So obviously before you reset it, make sure you have backed up any, it's not gonna delete any work, obviously. It's not gonna delete any files, any models and drawings that you've done. It's purely an application function. So you wanna click reset, It'll say, are you sure you want to do it? You click OK, and that's completely wiped Inventor back to factory settings. I I can't vouch for whether it's, it is indeed doing that completely as if... It, pretend that you had a brand new PC and you installed Inventor from scratch. I can't guarantee... It's not my job to guarantee that either, but I can't guarantee that it is exactly as that is, <laughs> straight out the box. But it's resetting it as much as it possibly can do at this point. So we're going to shut that down, that's done, it's reset, reopen Inventor, and then literally everything is back to factory settings. You might get some strange messages appear um, because it is back to default. So some licenses might get reset, some add-ons might get blocked. So this 3D connection add-in, for some reason Inventor decides to block that, even though it's um, it's kind of a, you know, Autodesk themselves use 3D mice. So I don't know why they've decided to block the 3D connection drivers. But you can start re-enabling your add-ons. You might get some licensing you know, because Inventor can cache some licensing information, so here's Vault Professional piping up and kicking off and saying, oh, where's the license manager again? Uh, so you might have to reset some of that kind of stuff, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, and then once that's done, it even resets things like your window size. So I'll have to resize my Inventor back down to my 1080p size. That's fine. But that's Inventor now reset back to factory settings. All the application options are back to factory settings. So all your color schemes, they'll be set back. You'll have to redo all that. All these ticky boxes in here, you'll have to redo all of these. These are all back to factory settings. And then there you go. That's it done. That's Inventor reset back. And then you can go try the problem that you had, see if it's fixed. And then if it's not fixed, I'm afraid the next step after trying this would be a complete reinstall. Delete Inventor off your C drive, go through all the pro all the program files, all the registry, delete all anything to do with Inventor, and then put it back on from scratch. That would be the next step after this. And then following that, it's a format C indeed colon. It would be the one after that. Anyway, that's it. So that's the Inventor Reset Utility. Give it a shot. Uh, just do be careful. Don't, if, you, if you're at work, just verify with your IT. Just make sure you've got IT backup before you do it in an office setting, just in case. Just in case. If you're not comfortable, in fixing anything that might go wrong with this kind of thing and you you do work in an office then make sure you do have a CAD manager or IT guy as a backup just in case or get them to do it but if you're at home go for it all right thanks very much guys that's it for this one I'll see you in the next one toodles